Hey, Leo. So we're going to get into your rest of June reading. Pause a few shuffles. This is a new spread I'm doing, so I may have to reference my paper for the positions, but I'm gonna, one more shuffle. Okay. Okay. So your feelings currently is the lovers in reverse. So you may feel disconnected from somebody that you consider a soulmate. Or you guys aren't, you know, um, in agreement right now. Or you just don't feel connected um, to them. You guys may have broken up. <clears throat> they feel like they may be tired of waiting or tired of, of investing in this connection with you. Okay. Could be dealing with a Gemini. So there could be a Gemini that you're tired of investing in or vice versa. And you know what? I'm not even going to do the vice versa because this is Leo. So... I'm not even doing the cross watcher stuff. Okay, so how they view you, they view you as a queen of cups in reverse. So they view you as somebody who once had emotion for them and now you're kind of closed off emotionally, not open for emotion. How you view yourself as the king of pentacles. So you could view yourself as somebody who is just really, really focused on business. You're focused on stability. You're focused on getting your money together. You're focused on your career. You could be focused on, um, you know, a, a business. Okay. <clears throat> Why is this all happening? So somebody here wants to be single or somebody here was acting single. Okay. Single and independent here with this nine of pentacles. Um, and that's why this is all happening. So maybe somebody wanted to be on their own or they were doing stuff that makes that, that made the partner feel like they wanted to be on their own or single because I have five cups up here, five cards up here and two of them are court cards. So this tells me that, and none of them are fire signs. So this tells me that, uh, there could possibly be more than one person involved here. Okay. Their intentions towards you is the page of swords. I feel like they intend to communicate. So you guys may not be communicating right now, but I feel like they intend to communicate, but it's going to be limited with this page of swords. It may be very aggressive communication. I feel like this person could also be watching you. Um, and that is their intention. So their intention could be just to stalk you. Uh, we'll have to further clarify what's hidden that you don't know about is the world reverse. So I feel like what's hidden is they don't want this to end. Okay. So they may be acting like they want it to end, but what's hidden is the world reversed. They don't actually want this to end. The advice from Tarot is the Queen of Swords. So I feel like this is telling you to cut this off. Or if it's not, it's possibly telling you to just use your head on this one and not your heart. Okay. And what you could experience is the near future is the Eight of Cups. So somebody here may not be able to walk away from this or having a hard time walking away from this. Uh... That could be you having a hard time or them, okay? And what happened with you guys in the past is the six of um, is the six of wands. So somebody here might might have had a bunch of admirers. This person could have. So Leo, this is you, but you could have had a lot of admirers at some point. You could have a lot of people that want to talk to you. Um, ego could have been a problem here. You know, because that six of wands is also about being egotistical. So ego could have played a role. We're going to have to see. Let me get the clarifying deck going. It could be dealing with another fire sign. Why is this six of wands here in the past? Why is this six of wands here in the past? Okay. Too many. I'm going to take one of them. The nine of cups. So I feel like somebody here may have gotten a whole bunch of attention and it, attention from others. Or this person might, must, might have had a big ego and it drained you emotionally. So I feel like running behind this person, um, trying to keep up with all the people that this person may have been talking to you was a drain on you emotionally. Why is the nine of cups? Okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like somebody here 
I feel like you may have been codependent on this person, nine of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you may have wanted to really be with this person or you may have been very codependent on this person and they were very independent. They were very, um, you know, outgoing, very independent. That six of wands, uh, they could have been, like I said, they could have had a lot of admirers, maybe a lot of friends and that could have been an issue for you, okay? So at the moment, the lovers in reverse could be dealing with a Gemini. You feel disconnected from somebody that you you deem this a soulmate relationship, though. But currently, you feel disconnected. Why is the lovers here and how, the, and how Leo feels? The three of wands. I feel like <clears throat> you feel that this person may have turned their back on you. OK, because with that night, with that three of wands and the original rider weight, they're turned away from you. So you may feel like this person has turned their back on you. OK, or turned away from this relationship. Um, you may feel like this person is trying to get something else going or manifest something new. Why is the three of wands here? Could be dealing with a fire sign. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you feel like this person doesn't want to put any more work into this. That's how you feel, that they that they don't want to work on it or that they're currently not working on it, okay? Well, and how they feel is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So you may be feeling correct. They may be tired of waiting or tired of investing in this, okay? So with that Seven of Pentacles in reverse, they feel like, you know, they didn't get what they put in back out. Why is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and how they feel? The five of cups in reverse so they're no longer disappointed over this okay um they've gotten to the point to where they don't want to give to this anymore they don't want to invest in this anymore they're not waiting for any kind of return from this why is the five of cups here why is the five of cups here six of swords in reverse they have a hard time so even though okay so what's hidden, I said down here was the world reverse. They don't want this to end. They're having a hard time moving on though, okay? So they may feel like they don't want to invest in this anymore and they're no longer very disappointed about what happened, but they're still having a hard time moving forward, okay? So they view you as the queen of cups in reverse, why? Okay. I feel like they <clears throat> they view you as somebody who may they view you as somebody who has seen the reality of this situation or you feel like or they feel like you see things for what they are and so you've closed down emotionally that's how they view you okay that's how they view you why is the seven of cups in reverse The Knight of Swords, they could, they view you as somebody who's upset, somebody who's aggressive. So you guys may have had some communication and it was like arguing, stuff like that. They could view you as somebody argumentative, um, but they view you as somebody who's angry also. So that Queen of Cups in reverse is about being passive aggressive, non-emotional, manipulative, emotionally manipulative, okay? So, you know, they could view you as being, as being aggressive and argumentative here also with that Knight of Swords. You view yourself as the king of pentacles. So I feel like you've put your attention. You may have closed down emotionally to this a person, but you've put your attention on your work. Why is this um, king of pentacles here? Strength. Yeah, you're starting to get your strength back, okay? You've pulled back from this person, I feel like, in order to become emotionally strong and not be as weak for this person because like I said, you feel disconnected from someone that you deem a soulmate, okay? You felt like this was a soulmate connection. So I feel like you've pulled your energy back so you can get strong emotionally and you've put your attention and your energy into your work. Could be dealing, yeah, that's you, Leo. How else does Leo view themselves? The fool. I feel like you may, you may view yourself as somebody who may be um, embarking on something new. Let me see. Could be dealing with an Aries. Why is this fool card here? 
I want to see something before I say that. Why is this fool card here? Five of Pentacles. I feel like you, <laughs> I, you view yourself as somebody who played the fool here with this, uh, <clears throat> this fool card, Five of Pentacles. You feel you view yourself as somebody who got abandoned, and I feel like you feel like you played the fool for this person. Okay, or you were played for a fool. Let's just say that. But you know the song say everybody plays the fool, so it is what it is. It is what it is. So this is all happening due to the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Nine of Wands. I feel like somebody kept, I, I feel like this person kept you at arm's length. This person wouldn't let you get close to them. This person was kind of closed off and defensive towards you because they wanted I don't think they want the same level of commitment that you wanted. So they may have been out acting single or acting very independent, okay? Also, you could have been kind of clingy too, okay? So this came out, <clears throat> this came out sideways. So with this five of wands, what's also causing this connection or what's a, an issue with this connection is uh, jealousy and conflict and tension. Look at all the women in this, um, Look at all the women in this car with this five of wands. There was some arguing going on. There was some tension and jealousy. And I feel like it directly goes with that six of wands in that past. Okay. I feel like this person had a lot of admirers. This person probably had a lot of women friends. This person may have gotten a lot of attention from women. And that was a problem. And because they were getting all that attention from women, they probably were acting single, okay? Or not giving you the same level of commitment that, that you wanted from this person. Why else? Why else? Two of Pentacles in reverse. You decided to stop. <clears throat> you decided to stop being one of the people or one of the women that this person was juggling. I feel like you made a decision to not be a part of that with that two of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So their intention towards you is a page of swords. Why the page of swords? Why the queen of pentacles? So their intentions are uh, towards you is the, is the, um, page of swords, queen of pentacles in reverse and seven of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like their intention towards you is to talk to you or to reach out and have some kind of communication with you, possibly about, you know, making more of an investment, um, more of an investment in this connection. But my concern is who is this queen of pentacles in reverse? Okay. So even though, so my first question is who is this queen of pentacles in reverse, but also, you know, with that queen of pentacles being in reverse, if this person is just taking on that energy, that's somebody who's still selfish. That queen of pentacles in reverse is somebody who doesn't care about anybody but themselves and what they want. So they they may reach out to you to communicate possibly to say that they want to have more of an investment in the connection, but really they're still in that selfish mentality where it's all about them. Why is this seven of pentacles here and their intention? Eight of swords. I feel like this person is, this person is, feels tied or very connected to this situation, but they're not necessarily here for the right reason. That's what I get. You guys may have been together for a while and there's a certain level of comfort there. Um, but I just don't see where this person is just like head over heels in love. And that's why they're wanting to come back. I don't see that. I don't even see that many cups up here. Um, but I still feel like this person is in the energy of being selfish with that queen of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Also, they could have been tied to a king, a queen of pentacles, and they could be on a break from that person right now, but they could still feel very tied to this, even toward, even though they're coming towards you. Okay. Five of swords popped out. <clears throat> so they don't want this to end, but like I said, they're still with the games with, with this five of swords. They are still 
with the they're still with the bullshit okay so you know they don't want it to end that's what's hidden they don't want it to end with that world in reverse but they're not they're still worried about themselves all about themselves okay what else is hidden four swords they're starting to get restless they're starting to get restless about this situation. So I feel like they will, they'll be coming back around to have that communication with you that I talked about. You may notice that this person is like in your Instagram stories or in your Snapchat, Snapchat stories or something like that. They're watching. You may have found out that they're watching your social media. Um, and I feel like <clears throat> they may be gearing up to communicate with you. So the advice from Tarot is the Queen of Swords. This is telling me either one or two things to cut it off yeah the lovers in reverse so this is the second time that the lovers then came out in reverse could be dealing with a gemini this is telling you to cut this off okay just to cut it off to cut it off and disconnect from this okay give me one more give me one more uh oh <laughs> it fell on the ground give me a second yeah yeah, eight of cups. Turn your back and walk away from this. Is what is what the advice from Tarot is. Okay. So <clears throat> and that's the second time the eight of cups have popped out. The near future is about the eight of cups in reverse. Somebody here is gonna have a hard time walking away from this. Four of Pentacles. I feel like somebody's gonna be trying to hold on to this relationship. Somebody's gonna be trying to hold on to this thing because they're having a hard time walking away. one more okay two of cups i feel like somebody's trying to hold on to this or you both could be trying to hold on to this because <coughs> sun in reverse i feel like you both could be trying to hold on to this because you both feel that it's a soulmate connection okay you both feel that with this two of cups bottom of the deck you won't be happy though you won't be happy okay so the advice from tarot is telling you to let it go Let's pull some Tessra's Tarot. Where am I? Where's Tessra's Tarot? Okay. Let's pull Tessra's Tarot and get a few messages from here. How many messages for Leo? How many messages you have for Leo? she have for Leo. I was trying to adjust the lighting on the, my phone. Any messages you have for Leo? Okay. Okay. So what messages do you have for Leo? What messages do you have for Leo? Put yourself out there. This is telling you to get out there and date, okay? To not be so stuck on this. So I get this, that you're sitting around, you know, stewing over this, but you need to get on out there. They want another chance. They, we know that because they're having a hard time moving on, okay, with that six of swords. So I feel like they may come and talk to you and tell you that the, like they want to invest or reinvest in the, um, in, in the connection with you. But I, they're not on the up and up. Let's just say that. Any other messages for Leo? Give this another chance. <clears throat> I feel like this is them asking you to give that another, uh, give this relationship or give this connection another chance. Okay. We know that that's them asking that because you both see this as a soulmate, a soulmate connection. You both do. Okay. Let's pull another deck. Any messages? Okay. Camera root reminiscing keepsake perception learn from the past make memories i feel like this is telling you that you know you and this person may be sitting around reminiscing about the past or the um good times that you guys have 
but also I want you to really take a look at what happened in the past and what got you to this point to not be so quick to idealize, you know, all the good things because we tend to do that. And then we forget all the, the reasons why it didn't work out. The Phoenix new phase, rekindle, renew transformation, growth, change your mind. I feel like you're moving into a new phase of your life or a new phase of relationship. And that's why the, um, the tarot is telling you to walk away from this emotionally and also telling you to put yourself out there. Okay. Give me one more message. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like you both want to get to a place, uh, or I feel like you both are just really stuck on remembering when it was like this. You're stuck in a place where you're remembering all the happiness and joy and the playfulness and the enjoying of each other. I feel like you guys are stuck in that place, but there's a lot more here that shows that it was not all peaches and cream. Okay. And so I want you to keep that in mind when making, you know, whatever decision that you make. Okay. Bottom of the deck, focus on self-worth. Time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. I feel like that is definitely important, that you need to focus on yourself and focus on what it is that will make you happy, Leo. Um, because this is clearly saying that even though you guys both feel like this is a soulmate connection, you won't be happy, okay? You won't be happy with that sign reverse. So Leo, I hope this was helpful for you. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.